Human, I do not understand why your science fiction always depicts spaceships fighting at insanely close range. What do you mean? I mean, even your real-world military vessels have sufficient sensor technology to fight well beyond such distances. And in space, you need not worry about a horizon interfering with those sensors. Surely a species as militaristically creative as yours would have realized that spaceships broadsiding each other at distances less than their own length is absurd. I mean, I guess, but if the ships are too far apart to see each other, how are you supposed to fit them on the screen? I mean, if you can't see what's going on, it's not very interesting, is it? That is the most intelligent and reasonable answer to any question I have ever asked you. Either that or I've gotten dumber. Human, what are you giving that child? Oh, it's a, it's a Nerf gun. You're giving a child a weapon of war? No, 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 no. It's a toy gun that fires small, near-harmless foam darts. Children use it all the time in Nerf Wars. Children simulate warfare for entertainment? Let me... let me never introduce you to video games. What's with this so-called Blorbo? Oh, it's basically a fictional character that someone really likes. Sometimes a bit... much. And what happens if they like this character too much? This... this is not a good answer. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that?! Human, I have a question. Sure, go ahead. So, I've been doing some research here and there, and I keep coming across mentions of... Neanderthals. What are they? Oh, those guys. Uh, so, uh, picture a human. Okay. Now add more muscle and hair. Okay. And then picture them living in smaller groups than you've seen humans living in, all while being shorter than us, too. Okay. And that's practically it. They were essentially another intelligent species before going extinct. <sighs> Let me guess, you humans wiped them out with your aggressive nature. Actually, there's been some evidence that they and humanity interbred with each other, becoming one species instead of two. How is that even possible if the two species were separate species, plus the lack of technology to allow such hybrids to occur? Well, remember how I said Neanderthals were basically smaller and hairier humans? Yes. That's because humans and Neanderthals were very closely related to each other, to be able to have children that were able to make more children of their own. Fascinating. Now, what was that part about technology allowing two separate species to have children with each other? I don't think that'd be a wise decision on my part, human. I've seen the Vaporeon meme. Human, what are you doing with our alcoholic drink? Pouring one out for the homies. The homies? Well, not everyone who can make it here tonight is here, but they still deserve a drink. So you're pouring it onto the ground? Does this have anything to do with that crabs in a bucket turn of phrase? Maybe a little, now that I think about it. Human Mark, do you know why Human David is screaming while working? Oh, he gets like that whenever something complicated turns up. Like the wiring and some major component is being stubborn. I can only assume that this is unhealthy behavior. Does it not sound like he's having what you humans would call a good time? Oh yeah, no, he isn't. He'll likely be unavailable for a while after he's done. Is there anything I can do to help him from this state of distress? No, not... Typically, just let the poor man rest. You son of a- Okay, maybe get whoever designed all this to make the electrical connections less complicated, if at the very least to save others from David's agony. Alright, I'll see what I can do. And maybe get human David the wiring layout binders. Yeah, he'd probably appreciate that. Why is your furniture covered in dirt? It's- it's dust. I just haven't cleaned up today. Today? You have to clean it every day? Well, why is there so much dust? It's... Dead skin? What? Humans constantly shed dead skin. The dust has just built up skin cells. Ew, ew, I need disinfected! Ew, why is it stuck on me?! And then he died. What? where am I? Okay, let's get this start- Ooh, you're not the usual intern. What? You're hired! I'm just kidding, he's not dead. Or am I? Nah, he's okay.